Does the Shure SM7B need phantom power? There's actually two different answers to this question. I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative, and in this video, we're gonna walk through both of those answers to help you figure out which you need. Now, in this video, we have the Shure SM7B connected to the Solid State Logic SSL2 Plus audio interface. This is one of my favorite audio interfaces. If you are looking for current pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, we do have links down in the description below where you can find current up-to-date pricing from a variety of online retailers to make sure that you're getting the best price possible. So what is Phantom Power? Phantom Power is an optional 48 volt power supply that's available from most audio interfaces or audio mixers that can be sent over an XLR cable to power microphones. Now, generally speaking, you only need Phantom Power for condenser microphones. It's how the microphone works. The Shure SM7B is a dynamic microphone. One way to think about a dynamic microphone is that it's essentially self-powered using a coil and magnets. That's how it generates signal. There's a diaphragm that catches the sound. It moves a coil around a magnet and generates electricity or electrical signal. And that's how you get signal into your audio interface or your computer. So the first way that you might use this microphone is plug straight into an audio mixer or an audio interface like we're doing right here. So as I said before, this is a dynamic microphone and in that use case, you do not need any type of phantom power. In fact, phantom power, if you did add it, it will not increase the volume, it will not change the tone, it will not improve the quality, it's a phantom. That's how it got the nickname phantom power. That 48 volts of power will not affect a modern dynamic microphone in any way. There are such things as unbalanced dynamic microphones, in which case you might get some buzzing or humming or something like that, but even then it's really extremely rare that you could perchance uh, damage the microphone. So it's nothing to worry about with most modern dynamic microphones. To demonstrate that now, I am just going to turn on phantom power on this channel so you can hear for yourself. So now we have phantom power turned on with the Shure SM7B. You'll notice it sounds exactly the same. It's not louder. It's not quieter. It sounds exactly the way before. That phantom power is completely invisible to the Shure SM7B. Now, the second way that you might use this microphone is with an inline preamp like the cloud lifter, the fethead, the dynamite, something like that. In this video, we're using the cloud lifter. How a cloud lifter works is it basically trades phantom power for reduced gain from your input. If you power this device with phantom power, it will give you 20 to 25 dB of clean gain for your microphone so your preamp and your gain don't have to work as hard. So I'm going to plug that in right now so you can see the difference with and without. So right now you can hear the lapel mic that's clipped on me. You don't hear the Shure SM7B anymore. We're going to connect this. So the microphone gets connected to the cloud lifter. Then we connect the cloud lifter in line preamp back into the SSL2 Plus audio interface. I'm going to turn phantom power off, turn the gain down. So you can see here as I turn up the gain on this microphone with the cloud lifter plugged in that nothing's happening. This, the microphone doesn't work and the cloud lifter does not work with this device with phantom power turned off. So I'm going to turn the gain back down turn phantom power on. As we increase the gain on this audio interface, you will see that we're getting about the same level that we did before with about 25% less gain than we had previously. That's what the cloud lifter does. So if you are using an inline preamp like a cloud lifter, you will need phantom power turned on. But if you're connecting the microphone straight to your audio interface, you don't need phantom power. But if it happens to be on, it's very, very unlikely that it will change the sound, improve the sound, or affect the microphone in any way. If you have any questions about anything that we covered in this video, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Again, if you are looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, please check out the links down in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.